as I said in the video on control out, when you use a control in, meaning a switch to control something, yeah, we were utterly confused and uh, something that we could figure out before we started the video all of a sudden didn't work anymore. Um, one major thing we did, and you can watch us, you know, messing this up, that we didn't understand is when you plug a control switch in, it, you plug it into control one and two, it will automatically be routed to control one and two out, just like switch number seven is automatically switch number seven. So before you do anything else with it, you have to disconnect it from its seven functionality. Um, so the same thing you have to do with an external switch. You have to disconnect it from its control one and two functionality, which I kind of find stupid because it's very unlikely that you want this just to go through. You might want to reroute this to have a different function, but this is how boss does it. Um, we didn't realize that. And then there was big confusion about polarity and again, the inverse e INV does not reverse the polarity that you do, I think, in preferences or something. And there's actually a polarity reversal for the external switch. Uh, we'll get to that in later videos. So um, if you want to hang out and join us, not accomplishing much, watch the video. If you want a detailed, quick explanation on how to do it, this is not for you. See ya. <clears throat> Excuse me! Yeah. Or as we say in German, Ruhe auf den billigen Plätzen. Das wollte ich gerade sagen. Oh, sorry. Sie sagt auch noch. Ruhe auf den billigen Plätzen. Which means in English? Silence on the cheap seats. <laughs> Silence on the cheap seats. <laughs> it, it sounds good in English too. It's just, I don't know if you nice say that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nice that we just talked, just talked about this, discussed this and talked about it. Just talked about it. <laughs> <laughs> I like to just talk about things. I know. Okay. Uh, this is Kiana, this is me. Hello, pedal nerds and nerdines and nerdizzles and nerdellas. And nerdettes. You forgot nerdettes. Nerdettes. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to know how many ladies, I mean, I don't want to be sexist or anything, but how many ladies work on their own ES8 board? If you me? are, I don't have one, but I yeah, work but on it. We should, we should get you one. Hey, boss, get an ES. I want one. An ES five board. I'm spitting. Yeah, yuck. Sorry. An ES five board is like fun. a little girly ES five board. We should it's work on that, boss. Should we work on that? Yeah, we should work on that. You should work on that. This is her Saturday. She's doing that for you. Well, maybe. Who who, who knows? <laughs> um, okay. We have spent a long video the last one to look at control signals going out. Now we're going to do something very simple. We reset this puppy and we're going to have control. Why is this off? I'm confused. Me too. We're going to use two different kinds of external switches to do exactly the same switching functions we did before. So if you don't know how to do external switching functions, please watch the video before this. If you have, I don't know, three hours time. Um, we are switching this PRS amp on control one and two. One, let me show you, is the uh, channel. And two would be the reverb, which you can't see. But I hear that it's clicking. Okay, then on five and six, we can switch the descent from Walrus Audio. Uh, if just going to reiterate this. If in the play option as a global parameter for the whole ES8, we set five and six not to latch, but to? Um, to, to, to pulse. pulse. No. No. Oh, invert. To invert, which makes very little sense, but that's what we have to do. Uh, okay. So technically on five and six now, if I switch five, Yes, I can switch it on and off. Beautiful. And on six, if I switch it on and off, it will cycle through three oh, with a lisp. It will cycle through three preset states. Please say that correctly. It will cycle through three preset states. Thank you. You're welcome. Green. <laughs> no, that was red. <laughs> 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 oh wow. Okay, can you please say those colors? Blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue, green, red, blue. 
No, no agree. <laughs> yeah, okay, good. So we can do this. Okay, five is on off state of the descent reverb. Six is the preset state of the descent reverb. One is the channel state of the PRS SE. PRS SE20. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, forget about number two. Um, so what we're going to do now is take this external switch. I'm kind of tethered here. I'm going to show you. It's the FS7 by Boss. Very stable, I've heard. I bet you a bit about the plasticky stuff, but people um, on, on my channel commented and said these are very, very sturdy and you cannot break them even if you're an elephant. I don't know how they know that. Um, <laughs> who is an elephant at home to check this? So what we have on this is, I, mean, I show you on this camera, which I'm pointing at totally pointlessly. <laughs> ah, that was funny. Okay. No, ah, I'm pointing at it pointlessly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make sure that everybody got the point. <laughs> so sorry. I'm overtired and over-caffeinated. You're kind of going down on my level. I know, right? This is really sad. I think at this point I'd laugh about the Emmanuel Kant joke. You know, it's Emmanuel. Kant. 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 It's really... You know, philosopher jokes. If Emmanuel. you haven't heard this joke yet, now you've heard it. Um, anyway, okay. Doesn't matter. So, what we have on this FS7, we have... I have to show you again. We have two switches. Either of them can be used as a mono switch out. But in the B plug, it can be used as AB, so as a stereo TRS switch, which is what we're going to use. So you can use a stereo cable to go into B, and it will take over switches A and B, okay? Or use it separately. We could use the cable that I threw away earlier. Um, the, that's okay. No, no, forget it. Okay. The insert cable. Anyway, we're using a stereo cable. On the side, I can pick, which is very nice, the polarity meaning is light on, on, or is light off, on. Huh? You know what I mean. I hope so. And the mode, whether it's momentary or latch. And they actually give you FS5U and FS5L, which are apparently different switches that Boss used to make or still makes, uh, with which are switches with different modes. So FS5U would be momentary, FS5L would be latch so if i can't figure it out on this i just switch it right here but we had some trouble with that the other day so we're gonna plug this in first of all we need power and then we're gonna go into control one and two i would say right control in one and two i'll be right back control in well you can still see your head that's okay control in one and two I'm gonna have to lift this up. Houston, we have liftoff. No, we don't. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's working. So, we are plugged into, am, are we? Mm, okay. Control in one and two. Can you see this? Yes. Beautiful. So now, I'm going to program that while on preset one, switch B will switch my amp's channels. Okay? Mm -hmm. So while on here, I will hit edit, control expression, and I hit enter. Now, when I use one of the internal switches on the ES8, I have to disable, am I boring you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, if I use one of the internal switches, I first have to disable the switch. If I want to use bank up, I disable it right here and say off. But I don't have to do that because I'm using an external switch. So what I do is... Actually, I don't know what I'm doing. Control in one. Hey, simple. One of them is one, one of them is two. I don't know which one is it. Which? Hit enter. Function, control in one. Okay. We haven't done this yet. No. We haven't even tried this. This was a bad idea. 
M min off, max on. Okay. We want toggle. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, I guess we have to assign it, huh? Because we can't do anything here. Probably, yeah. So we can say whether it's reversed or not. So if min, min max, if you turn that the other way around, um, instead of off and on, you do it on, on and off. This is really not the smartest way to express that, right? Mm. Yeah. Um, and we want it to be a toggle switch, which I can probably... Let's say we want it to be a toggle switch. Okay. Exit. So in control in one, I have said that it's probably a, is a toggle. And now I'm going to assign one. I'm going to turn switch on source is control one. That's easy. No, is it? Yes. Sure source is control one. Yes. Mm -hmm. I want it to be a toggle. And the Kate, which is a category, is external control. And I want to control one, which is my AMP's channel. So all good. So hypothetically, if I hit one of these switches, whatever, whichever one is one, I'm going to get an on off right here. That's two. <laughs> <laughs> That's just awesome. Wow. So this is not doing anything. Oh my goodness. Why is it doing it to two? I don't <laughs> know. So I just uh, went onto latch instead of momentary. So that's good. You know, momentary, while I'm on it, it switches. And I let go and it switches back. So that's doing what it's supposed to do. So on the switch, I go to latch. But why is it switching control too? That's a very good question. Yeah, that's a very good question. Okay, edit. Enter. Assign one. Enter. Target. Control. Control. You know what? You're gonna figure this out. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and uh, you play with this and figure out how to do it. I'll be right back. Sometimes I really hate you. You know, just you try to figure this out. I have no clue what I'm doing. So he just he just leaves me here. Um I don't even know if I could do it. If I wasn't that tired, any of you back there know how to help me? Wanna help me? You can come here and we can, you know, like talk and do yeah, stuff. Yeah, not gonna help. Me. <laughs> okay. Um. Just randomly hit buttons and. And mess everything up we yeah. just did. Okay, yeah. to make it even more confusing, short video, right? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly have no idea what I'm supposed to do. You know, talk to me, guys. Do something. Fish in aquarium. Did you figure it out? No! I have no clue what to do! How can it be so hard that what she said um, to, to assign a boss FS7 switch to a boss looper to do the simplest switch function. Okay, let's go through this again. Asleep to metal! I turned control in one off. Mm-hmm. Ah. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. I can't read your mind. Ah. Ah. See, when when you go to number seven, mm -hmm. and then seven does the function of seven. 
Yeah. If you want to assign something else to it, you have to turn it off. off. When you want the external switch in control one to do something that is not control one, you need to turn, turn it, it off. off. Oh, okay. And then you can assign something else to it. So, uh -huh. switch number external control in one will very likely automatically go to external control out one. Mm -hmm. Does it make sense? Yes, I think so. Let's see if this is true. So function will be control one, toggle, exit, exit, exit. So let's, fi let's find out. A is switching two, B is switching one. Mm. But I have to click twice. So why do I have to click twice? Let's see. If you go to momentary, everything's fine. So this is what the fuck is going on. So it's actually very simple. If your amp is connected to outputs to, to control one and two, then your switcher in one and two will automatically automatically be routed to one and two without you doing anything. See? Yes. So it's on the only problem is that <laughs> because it's on momentary now, and you see it's the light doesn't stay. So even though it changes on the amp, or maybe because I toggle <laughs> let's see that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, it's, this is complicated crap. Yes. I'm going to switch this to momentary, wait. Yes, now it's momentary. That's what we want. We want it to toggle. So, so on two, we have to toggle as well. And I have it on toggle. Okay. Uh, the only problem is that the switches don't stay. <sighs> I'm sorry. Because here, yeah. yeah, it's okay. Here I have to be on momentary on the switch so that it works. But if I'm on latch, when the lights stay, you have to click twice, see? Okay, yeah. And I don't want to click twice. Yeah. So the lights on the FS7, if unless I'm doing something completely wrong, it's not, it's not really playing well together. Okay, so I have to be on momentary for this to work. I click once I'm on the distorted channel, mm -hmm. I click once I'm on my clean channel, but the light wants to be momentary means I have to be on it and hold mm -hmm. it for the light to be on. So the light won't give you a feedback over what's going on. Okay, okay we figured this out. Mm -hmm. Now, if I wanted to not have this function be assigned for good, what I would have to do, I get it now. Maybe I'm just stupid. I go to control in one, I enter, and I simply, oopsie, I simply turn it off. Exit. I go to control in two, I enter, and I turn it off. So for preset number one, these two don't do anything. Okay? Mm hmm. Now, if I wanted exactly what I just had, but with more control, I go to assign, I enter, and now I can assign control one, which is this, uh, this, mm -hmm. toggle, external control one. Let's see. That's it. It'll, it would still want the light still won't stay, but apparently no one at boss thought about these two working together. So in the same vein, I can go and instead of now that I've disconnected it from going out of control one and two, because that's that's what I had to do. Okay, for patch one. <laughs> so fucking complicated. Now that I've disconnected it. I can assign these wherever I want, which means target control five. Now this, yes. Now I'm in control again, <laughs> literally. <laughs> so this will be, will now 
Switch my bypass state, by, by, by state, bypass state, state on and off on the reverb. And I will assign a second one on control two toggle on control two toggle. And I'm going to external control and I do control six. And now I can skip a go through my three through my three presets through my three presets thank you with switch number eight yay well that was easy super easy awesome now all we have to figure out how to do it for this one it's okay it's okay we'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll be we'll get it mm -hmm. so let's just say i'm taking the oh this is off Oh, great. <laughs> oh, the camera was off. Well, you couldn't see that I was going through the three bypass states. Well, I'll show you again. Very quickly. <laughs> so A will turn, uh, B will turn my reverb on and off, and A will cycle through the three bypass states right there. Good. Now we're going to get rid of the boss FS7, use the Mesa fit, foot switch, which very clearly operates differently, and we're going to see what the two switches do. You can see... I have to hit it twice mm -hmm. to get the same function. Same here on the EQ. So the assigning is exactly the same thing. I removed in control in one and two from their normal func functions, which would be one and two. Okay. And I've assigned them to bypass and preset. And I think in order to now... Um, make them react to one click i think i just have to use the invert i hope so let's hope so uh which means on the play option globally oh no, five six is inverted <laughs> play option enter this is so much fun <laughs> you're only half in the camera again you know that yeah i don't they don't want to see me okay. I don't know how to do it. This was going to be a short video, remember? Yes, because it's technically simple. It should be simple. Control it. How can I make this that this goes on one click? Let's, let's find out. Control 5. What if I go, instead of toggle, I go to momentary? Let's find out. on momentary it switches on and off why doesn't this work shouldn't that just do the same thing what if i change this to on and off oh uh, that works how does that it make sense it works why does care. it have to do with I don't anything care, but it works <laughs> but why why does minimum and maximum change that I don't know, but how, I'm how, glad it works. How in the world are you supposed to know that? Maybe the manual says so. Emmanuel <laughs> can't know about it? I highly doubt it. Emmanuel does not tell you that. What the? So I just changed minimum, minimum, maximum, which doesn't tell you at all what it does. But all of a sudden, instead of having to push the button twice... I, I don't even know what minimum and maximum means in this sense. But <laughs> check check this out. Both of them had to do exactly the same thing. I had to push the button twice, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. so follow me on this one, then, we, then we're going to let you guys go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> so I, I, I fixed it on the on-off state, mm -hmm. uh, on here, mm -hmm. right? It's working now. Mm -hmm. By switching from momentary, uh, from toggle... Um, mm, mm -hmm. That's what I did. It didn't work before. And then I switched it from... 
<laughs> but that's exactly that's what I. <laughs> I don't know if I want Wait, to laugh or cry right minimum now. Minimum <laughs> off, maximum on. But it's ex that is what I did. I think I feel more like crying. <laughs> off on. On off. So here it's a momentary. Now I have to push it twice again. I have to push it twice again. Why? That's working. Wasn't this just... <laughs> Wait, this is five. My well, five is working. Assign two. Toggle. So I changed that to off, on. No. But it was working. <laughs> now it is. So it is the more. You know what? I give up. I com completely give up. <laughs> so, right. So, yes, now it's working. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. With the uh, right button, you can cycle through the presets. With the left button, you can turn the reverb on and off. I have no idea what we did. Good luck with that. Yeah. Good luck with that. Switching. So, I think we gave you a good overview of what's possible and how to do it. And how things can go very wrong and you don't know what happened. I couldn't replicate it. I couldn't. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> so, if you're having some trouble with this... Don't ask us! <laughs> You're on your own! Okay, first of all, if you want any external switching functions that are not the input equal to the input, so if you're into 1, 2 and you don't want to switch 1, 2, uh, what you have to do is turn them off. We learned that. Turn off the actual 1 and 2 controls and then assign them somewhere else. Um, so technically, if I'm on a different preset, now it should switch my amp again. Yes. Because remember, it's yeah, now it's yeah. just going through. Yeah. So good. We've learned something. Why I don't have to click it twice, I don't know. Maybe you know. Please, please tell us. Kiana's going to read the comments and then she's going to explain it to me on Monday. Okay. <laughs> You're excited. I'm psyched about this. Yeah. Way to go, boss engineering team. Let's have a talk soon. Yeah, I'm leaving. <laughs> yeah, bye-bye.